Hey you guys, it's on a real day E back at you guys again. I know it's been so long since I've like uploaded a video. I've actually made some um throughout this past few months or weeks, however long it's been, but I never posted them because it would be like one thing wrong with it or another that I didn't want to post on YouTube or whatever. But I just wanted to come make a quick video for you guys so that you guys don't think that I'm like abandoning my channel or anything. But um uh, I finished my first semester of my LPM program pretty good, actually. I got three B's and an A. Um, I already started my second semester. Uh, I actually have clinicals tomorrow. Um, we started last week. This is our second week. And so we're going to clinicals. Um, I'll be going to a nursing home. Um, they're not going to put us in a hospital yet. I think we get hospital, a hospital clinical, um, the next clinical rotation, which would be in two weeks. But I'm still excited. I'm ready to, you know, get back into the groove of things and not lose any of my skills or whatever. Because we've been on break for two weeks. It's not a long time, but, you know. Um... What classes am I taking this semester? I'm taking pharmacology one, <clears throat> excuse me, human development two, principles, no, practical nursing principles one, and I forgot the name of one of the classes, anatomy and physiology one. So those are the four classes I'm taking, including lab and clinical. Um, there's a definite increase in the workload compared to last semester. It was only the first week, mind you. One, I've only been in class for the last week. It was only one week. We already took, a, took an exam. It was only 20 questions, but um, they still gave us the whole hour period to complete it. I think I did pretty good. I may or may not have gotten one question wrong. Like, you know, just from listening to other people talk about their experience with the test and, you know, people exchange answers and stuff. Afterwards, I feel like I've gotten one question wrong so far, which is not bad. That will still put me at a 95. Anything over a 90 is pretty much the zone that I want to be in. Um, but, yeah, I know that the stress is definitely going to increase. Last semester wasn't hard for me at all. Um, I wish I would have kept up my persistency in reading reading ahead and just going over the work that was done that day the first like from the beginning of that last semester to midterms i was doing really well because i did that on a daily basis um i got straight a's on my classes and i got lazy um i would like only focus on like if we have clinicals for that week. I would only focus on my clinical work, and I know that I'm not going to do that this semester. I need to do clinical work and classwork, even though I won't be in class for that week. Because um, I think that would make a definite difference. So, like I said, I went from having straight A's midterm to only having one A and three B's by final. And that's why I know I need to be persistent in my studying habits. I can't get lazy because I know I can do it. But, um... Yeah, for anyone who's looking to apply or whatever, I suggest that you begin studying for your practice exam. I mean, not your practice exam, for the for their entrance exam. I'm talking like people. I mean, this would be for any program, but like for Veeb's LPM program, um, they haven't put out any applications or any test dates or anything yet because people always call the library like every day phone call after phone call trying to get into Veeb so yeah and they always tell them I'm um, just check the website every week because they haven't put in put any test dates out yet but they will um and while are you waiting for a test date you should be studying so that when a test date is available you can just go sit for the very first one and um you should study not even as if you're taking the T's exam, because honestly, when I was looking for nursing programs, I took the T's exam for other schools, and the T's is way harder than their practice exam. 
study as if you're studying for your GED. Study as if, yeah, study as if you're studying for your GED. And you'll be fine. They provide you with the calculator. It's a simple one, a very simple basic calculator, because there's only basic math on there. But, um, yeah, I wish all of you guys the best of luck in any nursing programs that you may doing that you may be doing. Um, happy I made it to my second semester as people in my class who didn't make it. Um, and things are gonna get rough, but I'm just going to not be lazy. I'm going to be persistent. I don't care how tired I am. I think I want to start taking like energy drinks because I just be tired all the time. I sleep in class like that's really bad but I'm like a good sleeper in class because I wake up out of my sleep if I hear something that I need to write down like I'll wake up and take a note and go back to sleep and wake up and take a note but don't do that that's not good you should be in class be active in class so that you understand what's going on but I just want to come by and say hi let you guys know that I'm alive second semester and we doing it all right, later.